Today on the channel, we're going to check out this Steve Vai Carbon Legacy head. Everybody, welcome back. I'm really excited about this Carvin Legacy amp. Uh, I had one maybe 15 years ago and I sold it to a buddy of mine and I kind of regretted it. These things are awesome amps. These amps sound really smooth. They've got some uh, really nice overdrive tones. They aren't an amp that you'll play death metal on or chug on, but these are voiced really nice. Uh, they're basically a two-channel amp. You've got your clean and you've got your your gain side over here. Each channel's got its own EQ. There's a button where you can adjust your presence and you can also uh, adjust the channel A or B. Got separate volumes for clean and dirty. It's got the Vi Legacy logo. It's got this really nice, this, you know, it's plastic uh, grating on the front, but it, it looks cool. This, this amp is, is not too heavy. This is 100 watts, and uh, it's got a lot, of, a lot of tone. Very nice. It's all tube. Foot switch that came with it basically allows you to turn your A and B channels on or off and turn your reverb or effects on or off. The back of it's got an effects loop and all kinds of cool stuff. We'll show the back of the amp here in just a minute. And then most importantly, we'll do a test. We'll do a sound demo, what it sounds like. Here's what the back of this amp looks like. It's on right now, so the tubes are glowing. I've got it warming up. Standard stuff, your effects loops, and uh, speaker outs, foot switch outs, select the Elmage, you can find these amps pretty reasonably priced, usually between you know 500 to 800 bucks, and it's they're worth every penny, these things really sound great, so Let's check it out. I believe these things have been out for about 16 years, maybe 17 years. This was the very first model that Carvin made for Steve Vai, and it's awesome. I uh, got this amp used a couple weeks ago, and I absolutely love it. I sold one uh, over a decade ago, and I kind of regretted it. So this one came to me at a, at a super cheap price, so I picked it up, and I wanted to share with everybody here on the channel how cool this amp really is. Uh, it's got two channels, clean, dirty. It's got a, an effects loop in the back. It's all tube. And I've got it running through Pro Tools. I'm gonna to give you an example of clean uh, just by itself, and then I'm gonna run some effects in it in Pro Tools to give you kind of what a, a produced sound sounds like. Uh, I've got it running through my Friedman 4x12 cabinet. Uh, so it sounds really nice through this cabinet. Got it mic'd up real good. Uh, then I'm going to run uh, the dirty side amp by itself, and then I'm going to run some effects in it in, in Pro Tools as well. Just some delay and reverb, maybe soften the EQ up a little bit. Just produce it, make it sound nice and, uh, nice and cool and clean and, and awesome. So let's check it out. First thing I want to talk about is this amplifier has a really, really nice clean clean tone and that's hard to find sometimes in a tube amplifier uh, a channel that cleans up nice and sounds sounds warm so i'm playing my my ibanez gem my seven uh seven pp i think is what this is called it's the the blue floral uh so i'm gonna run run humbucker single coil humbucker various pickup configurations in each uh, channel of this amplifier so we can check it out so I will stop talking so we can listen to what this sounds like. I'm not going to do a lot of talking in between playing because it, it picks up on my vocal mic and I'm going to have to turn this vocal mic down and just use the raw audio from the microphone when I play. 
So we're going to go through the clean with no effects. I'm going to bring up the reverb a little bit so you can hear what the spring reverb sounds like. And then I'll play a little bit of clean and we'll mix in some Pro Tools effects. And I'll do the same thing with the dirty side. I may adjust the EQ as we go. Okay, so here goes the playing. Clean side.
Let's get a little dirty with it. So there you go. Uh, this amp is really cool, very versatile. Hopefully this demo uh, is able to portray and uh, let you hear exactly what, what I'm hearing here in the room. So great value, great amp. I, I suggest if you're looking for something that's affordable, a good tube amp with a lot of different tonalities, and you're a Steve Vai fan, pick one of these up while you can. 
If you like this kind of content, please subscribe, consider commenting below, and hitting the not notification bell. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.